that stays consistent is the grind. Keep on grinding. Thank you, Mueller Sports, for sponsoring this video, but more about Mueller Sports later. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Very happy to be here today. I had a consultation the other day with one of the great subscribers who hired me to do a consultation when it comes to bodybuilding. Now, this particular person was very, very tall, and they wanted to focus on the fact that they want to fill their legs out. Now, they have a tonal. I use a Speedience Gym Monster now, but it's all relatively the same when it comes to the leg movements that you can do on this machine. If you're looking to keep your footprint small and you don't want to get tons of other accessories and racks and stuff like that to attach to the machines like this, which you can always do, you're going to want to focus on squats when it comes to these machines. Now, you have a few different options actually. Uh, one that I forgot to video in the B-roll, but you can always do a goblet squat where you're holding a handle and then coming down and, and holding that weight in the middle of your body. You can have the front barbell squat where you have the barbell laying on the front shoulders, the front portion of your shoulders, and then you just kind of cross your arms or hold your arms a certain way in order to kind of level out that weight so you're not putting yourself in a precarious situation. And then you have the back barbell squat where you throw the bar up on your back and then you lower yourself down. I think these are all very, very good ways. Personally, I love the goblet squat. I think it's fantastic, but of course, you're not going to be able to lift that much weight in comparison to having a barbell, right? So you, the next thing people would normally go to is the front or the back barbell squat. I prefer the back barbell squat over the front. The reason why is because I feel like the weight is more evenly distributed on your back. And with digital weight, it's so much easier. You don't need a rack. You just press a button, turn that weight on, and start doing what you need to do. The front barbell squat, I feel like it's a little bit more dangerous. You can lift a little bit less weight. That's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The back barbell squat I think is fantastic. Now we do have one other option which I've actually shown you guys back when I was using tonal is to go ahead and throw that weight on a belt. Now Speedience happens to have a belt that you guys can use or you can go ahead and purchase off of Amazon, something like that. Personally, I recommend supporting Speedience if you can because they're a newer company. They're doing their very best working very hard to try to get machines out to people. They're trying to build a strong community. It doesn't seem like they're just in this for money, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. But you can go ahead and throw on one of these squat belts, which will alleviate a lot of the pain or discomfort that comes with front or back squatting. You'll also be able to lift a heavy amount of weight easily and carefully. The weight is sitting at a, on a portion of your body. Of course, I'm not a doctor and everybody is an individual, right? Everyone is an individual. Check with your doctor and your personal, use your own personal experience to find out what's best for you. But for me, if I have the weight sitting around my waist, it evenly distributes that weight and allows me to function better when doing a squat more safely and so forth. I would recommend to anybody who is using digital weight equipment or even if you can get away with using a squat belt in the gym, if that's something that will make it easier for you to do your squats, I would recommend it because you don't really want to keep weight high up on your body, you're moving a lot. Why not train more safely when you can? I think a squat belt is an excellent way to go about getting your leg workout in. Now, personally, I tend to skip leg day way, way too often, and one of the reasons is because I just don't feel like dealing with the bar. I know it doesn't make sense. Maybe, you know, it's just like mental, mentally exhausting knowing that I gotta deal with the bar, throw it up on my back. It's just something I don't like, and I also tend to kind of like throw my back out when I'm putting the weight high up on my body and then coming down. It just makes it easier and safer for me with a squat belt. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If it does happen that you do hurt yourself while doing one of these squats or doing anything, whether it's even at work, make sure to check out Mueller Sports. In fact, I recommend checking them out before you get hurt. Get ahead of that injury. Prevention is the best medicine. They have tons of stuff on their website, whether it's compression garments, whether it's tapes, whether it's wraps, or whether it's the Revive Recovery Care compression device, which will give you targeted compression therapy for your injuries, which I absolutely love, and it helps me to function on a daily basis, especially back when I was working construction. There's a link in the description for a discount when it comes to their products. Make sure to check them out. So I hope this video is helpful, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. What is your favorite type of squat and why? And do you use a Tonal or a Speedience Gym Monster? Keep in mind, guys, the Tonal subscription is going through the roof. Right now, you can buy a Gym Monster subscription list 
and you get all the features for a lifetime, but you have to purchase within the next couple of months because pretty soon they will be implementing a subscription. If you are interested in one of these machines, you can use the link in the description for a discount so that you can not only get this amazing machine, but also continue to use it without a subscription for a lifetime. Remember, subscriptions are coming very soon. Catch you guys in the next video. Talk soon.